all the utility you get from government is not hinged on money being like linked to happiness. It's you valuing other things. It's not because I value happiness that I work hard. It's because I want good education. I want to access good healthcare. I want to feed my dependents. That's why I'm going to work hard. There's enough incentive within society for these individuals to want to work hard. They need to prove why that in itself is not adequate. Secondly, the most elitist thing you can say is that you're poor, so let's make you happy to make you work hard. We think that argument in and of itself is not valuable because like they've already proven within their speeches there's enough incentive for people to want to work hard. A couple of way ups that they fail to do. This debate has to be weighed on two things. One, who is able to maximize like happiness for individuals the most, but who is able to maximize happiness for the most people. So make happiness the most accessible thing. Two things in my speech then. Firstly, I'm going to respond to a lot of the material we get from their speeches. Then I'm going to talk to you about why the acquisition of money in and of itself cannot make you happy. One, they talk about how there's probably going to be suicide and all the other alternatives that exist are going to fail. Two responses. One, note the irony in this argument. If there's any side that doesn't have alternatives, it's theirs. In our world, you can probably gain happiness from interacting with people, from going out or going on vacation, like Trudeau gives you as an example. They don't have those alternatives. But secondly, and I'll talk about this in my speech, the acquisition of money in and of itself is already something that's painful. So already harming yourself and hurting yourself in order to acquire money. But lastly, money is temporary. It's in and out of your hands. If there's anything that's more sustainable, it's our world, where you get happiness from things like spirituality, things for like hanging out to your community that are more sustainable. Secondly, they talk about the ability to innovate and the ability to work hard that is a benefit that they have. Reasons why this is not true. We've already talked to you about how there's already enough incentive to work hard because I need food, I need to eat, I need shelter. But secondly, money is not the only incentive to work hard. Like we have NGOs, we have artists and people within society that don't work for money. They work because they like the art or they like the cause and stuff like that. We think those are things that are significant. Lastly, in terms of how they frame happiness, the only reason they're able to come and say you're only happy because you can buy an iPhone is because that's the narrative that probably exists and that's what society values. At the point where Trudeau tells you shifting narratives means society values different things. So we start to value hanging out with your families. Social media influencers post more about family gatherings than them like buying Bugattis and stuff like that. We think at the point we're able to shift narratives like that, that's something that's more accessible to people and more valuable. But lastly, happiness as a metric in and of itself is harmful because it's insatiable. There's no limit to happiness. I can overwork myself for three months because I want to pay school fees, but I can never know the limit to how much I'm going to overwork myself to be happy because of the hedonistic treadmill that Trudeau talks to you about. It's a constant thing that you're trying to do. You're constantly trying to get happy. There's never any limit. We think that in itself is already harmful. Two arguments then. One, acquisition of money in and of itself is monopolized. Capitalistic systems are like largely built on things like patriarchy that lock out women and stuff like that. So there's already people that cannot access money or access like ultimate money and stuff like that. But secondly, there's things like the lottery of birth. They come and say you're poor, so work hard to get money. That's very elitist. The people that are born within conditions that they cannot get out of or they haven't been able to access education and stuff like that. You're locking these people not only out of money, but also out of happiness, which is harmful because that's the narrative that's going to be within society. But even just knowing the right people and the right places to go just makes a lot, of a lot of people more successful than others. But secondly, the acquisition of money in and of itself is not going to make you happy. You probably have to work hard even when you're tired. You probably have to maximize your hours to maximize the rip you get from that money. You probably have to do with the bad treatment you get from your boss because maybe one day they'll give you a raise. Getting money in and of itself is painful. So they'll never ever get to access happiness because you're constantly working through this cycle of working in the industry and getting maximum money that's coming in and out of my hands. So I'm constantly working myself, being a slave of the system, a slave of production, and think that in itself is harmful. What are the impact of these arguments? One, you monopolize happiness among the wealthy or the people that can access money. But secondly, it puts individuals in positions where they're in an unsustainable cycle. So you're constantly looking to maximize happiness which in, in turn is maximizing money that you have no control over. You don't know if you're going to get a salary cut, if you're going to lose your job. So that is continuously hinged on you being happy. We think that is harmful because there's a vast majority of individuals that exist within those conditions. But on top of that, we think you never truly ever get to be happy because you're constantly in a cycle of working for the system and constantly in a cycle where you're trying to work in order to like get money because that money is linked to happiness. I think that is harmful for individuals. We think happiness independently is 
extremely important. And we need to maximize the people that can access this. Because if I'm happy, I'm going to have the strength to wake up every day. I'm going to have the strength to do with the terrible conditions in life. I'm going to feel actualized. I'm going to feel like an individual that actually is like valuable within society and stuff like that. At the point where we're able to make happiness something that's sustainable, that an individual can access, but more people can access because it's not hinged on something like money that's already um, systematic within society, proud to oppose.